<laughs> well, <laughs> I'll tell you, for more than 20 years, animal communicator Janet Ridgway has been helping pet owners communicate with their pets. She says our pets have a lot on their minds, and the key to understanding them is learning how to listen to what they're trying to say. This way, yeah. Good girl. Animal communicator Janet Ridgway says our pets are constantly trying to communicate with us, and she can hear them. It comes to me as thoughts, as images, as feelings in the body. So it's almost like if you think of them as speaking Spanish or another language, and I'm sort of a translator. Ridgway, who has clients around the world, says most people contact her when their pets are facing some kind of major change and are acting stressed. Animals that don't get along, maybe people are getting divorced and or moving. Um, someone dies or something happens and the animal has to be rehomed. All these things are things I get calls for for appointments. While the idea of communicating with your pet may seem far-fetched, Ridgway says just about anyone can do it if they're in the right state of mind. The answers will come to you if you're receptive, but because most people are so busy talking and, and busy being external instead of internal, they're not picking up on the things that the animals are telling them all the time. <laughs> and if you would like Ridgeway to help you communicate with your pet, you can sign up for a session on her website. We have a link for you on our website at cnycentral.com. So, Lisa, what do you think? I think this is really interesting, and people may not realize that those cats behind Brandon, those are his cats. Yeah. So, okay, yes, right. I have to ask, did you ask her about your cats at all? Well, actually, she, she can look just at a picture and do uh, pick up a uh, reading. Oh, okay. So I had her look at a picture of Jolly, who's right here, <laughs> and she said, that's funny, he thinks he's your boyfriend. And I have to admit, like, we do our little cuddle sessions and I go, you're my boyfriend. <laughs> so. In that voice, too. I do, you're my boyfriend, <laughs> are you my boyfriend? So we, we uh, she picked up on it. I mean, she has clients all over the world. I think there really is something to it. They, they communicate through energy and she picks up on it. That is interesting. Does, does Jolly know that you're two-timing with my cat? Because he used to <laughs> say to my cat, you're my girlfriend. <laughs> I, I know, well. Jo she's my girlfriend, Bishaw's my girlfriend, Jolly's my boyfriend. How okay. about that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have that all worked out. Yeah, I'll show myself out now after that <laughs> weird exchange. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm a lonely man, what can I say? <laughs> With cats. Oh, we only show. Oh, <laughs> I swear. <laughs>